Good morning, and how are you today? I'm fine, thank you. Fine, okay. Physically or mentally? <laughs> uh, physically and mentally. Okay, that's great. That's great. It's ideal to stay healthy both physically and mentally. As the ancient Greek, Greek proverb goes, healthy mind stays in healthy body. Uh, so it is very important to have both. Uh, first, I'd like to talk about the stress factor. And then, um, I'd like to talk about exercise the eastern way. And the exercise the eastern way has several examples. Zen and Tai Chi and yoga. I will talk about Zen and Steve will talk about yoga. And lastly, Chico will talk about sleep and food. First of all, what is stress? <laughs> stress builds up when a when a person becomes overwhelmed. Overwhelmed. Then is it a bad thing? Stress isn't all bad. It is okay to have moderate level of stress. However, um, when it is too much, it's so bad. Then what happens when stress becomes too much? Body and mind are connected each other. And stress has knock-on effect. Stress weakens power of creativity and memory recall. In conclusion, uh, excessive stress causes both our brain and body to become inefficient. Okay, then how to deal with stress? Since ancient times, people have developed a method to keep harmony between mind, body, and spirit. Uh, for example, Eastern methods are Zen, Tai Chi, and Yoga. I'll talk about Zen a little. Zen meditation is a practice that lies on the core of Zen building. People sit with their legs crossed and close their eyes and stay, stay still. Uh, people gradually come to no mind state or no thinking state. It eases your mind. Somehow, negative thoughts go away. It came to Japan in 12th century and became popular with samurai. They had a lot of splinter stress by battles. And this is the reason why samurai were favored Zen, Zen Buddhism. Zen spirit is still alive in Japanese culture, like flower arrangement, tea ceremony, India ink paint. Uh, today, about 10 million people meditate every day. I even found iPhone app for Zen meditation. That's very good. Okay, then next, Steve will talk about yoga. Thank you. I love the new thing to talk about. Especially when I don't know. Well, I'll do my best. Anyway, good. Uh, hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to talk first about yoga. So yoga came from India like five years, five thousand years ago, and it's really similar to Tai Chi. Yeah, that's the way I say. It. I know. Uh, like it's a combination between uh, breathing, breathing exercise, and physical postures, postures and meditation. Uh, a good way to explain yoga is like uh, the Neo uh, body workout. So it's like around the world. And being that it's like really, really famous. Uh, however, it's not about only it's famous or not. It's all about your health, and uh, it's all about coordination in your breathing with your postures. It's like not just hand and still in a, in a place. It's about holding your feet with your hand and making postures and like holding up for a long time. And some studies say that uh, 
can prevent some maladies by keeping energy pathways open and life energy flowing. It's just a theory, right? And yoga has been used to lower your blood pressure, uh, reduce stress, improve coordination, flexibility, concentration, sleep, and digestion. And by sleep, I mean I got to talk about sleep later, but so far, like, but let's keep talking about sleep. Yoga. Uh, one student has shown to that, like, practicing yoga, uh, you can elevate your brain gamma and you be, be tiry and like, oh, G B G A B A, as no as that free word that I can say. <laughs> It's like uh, the amino acid that plays an important role in regulation near ex near all and ex and really helps you on your nervous system. On yoga, they have some uh, some postures that I can show here. So here, you guys can see some of the famous ones. Okay. and it's all about flexibility and stuff. Yeah, just like that. Over. Should I talk about sleep now? Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to talk about sleep, something that I know what I'm talking about. So, uh, first of all, when you talk about uh, healthy bodies and just try to exercise like yoga, you should talk about sleep. Because during the sleep, your body can release a grown hormones to heal damaged tissue, including the brain tissue. And besides, after a good night of sleep, you just feel great. And you create because you're not only you're healing and relaxing during the sleep, but your body also gets all the information that you got in the day and send that to your long-term memory by review and recalling. That's a kind of uh, word, two words to just fancy words to say just dream. When you're dreaming, you do review and recall it. But you need to know the, your magic number. And by magic number, I mean how many hours of sleep you need at a day. Some people need five, some people need, four, need nine. You never know. You should to test yourself. Uh, according to a study, we have shown that a lack of sleep can damage your brain pretty hard. And by that, I mean uh, your, your sleep deprivation can increase uh, the stress hormones level, which reduce the nervous cell production. And that's bad because you don't produce uh, nervous cells. And as a matter of fact, you just kill them, and that's really bad to help you like your concentration. Because when you don't sleep, you can con can't concentrate, and you can't even concentrate. You just can't produce, and that's really bad. Uh, your sleep can be, can be divided in five pieces, in five thing, brain pieces, like, and your sleep can also be divided by theta, delta, and stuff. And I'm gonna talk about that later in another day. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, hello, I'm Chica, and I also did about sleep, but we made a mistake in the same play, so I want to talk about food instead of sleep. Um, Actually, could you just present what you prepared, because I don't know, I don't think it would be the same. Oh, yeah, okay, so yeah. I'm sleep. Continue on with, continuing on with more okay. sleep. I, first I want to talk about good points of sleep, and um, first, it regulates body clock. It is known as circadian circadian lead and has transfer information to your long term memory. It is called reviewing and recovery. And uh, sleep has less play and muscle. During sleep, during sleep, blood hormones are released to the damaged tissue and it including brain tissue. And uh, how much should we need to sleep? The amount of sleep required varies from person to person. So we should know about our magic number as we should say. She said how much time we should sleep. And the uh, lack of sleep is an enormous strain on the brain. Sleep deprives the brain with efficiency and uh, sleep deprivation is increasing stress hormone levels. And uh, we have four stages, four stages of sleep. So theta wave and delta wave are 90 minutes, 90 minutes each, we change. And then we can go enter REM sleep, and at that we can sleep, we can enter dream state. So we have three, four stages. And 
and uh, how do you get a good sleep? I want to talk about it. Um, we should establish regular times, not only weekdays, even weekends. We have to get up almost at the same time, and almost almost same time we have to get up. And uh, if you want to sleep a lot, we have to sleep earlier at night. And uh, avoid coffee and alcohol, alcohol and nicotine before that time. Finish eating at least three hours before. And we should do exercise. And uh, before sleeping, we should be relaxing. For example, soaking in a hot tub, sense candles, and uh, listening to soothing music. Soothing. Soothing music. And keep out noise and light. It is the best condition to get out of sleep. And uh, at last, I want to talk about food. A resting person's brain uses 20% of food energy. Even though it accounts for just 2% of the body's weight. First, thermal or other oily fish, it maintains brain health and builds stronger and better connections between them. And uh, second, bright green colored food and vegetables. Especially blueberries and spinach, spinach is the are the best one about it. And uh, what can I say? It is almost same efficient as tamo or other fish, oily fish. And the uh, nuts is also very good for health. It has a good dose of vitamin E, which promotes brain functions and the uh, best one is almond and it followed by hazelnut, cashew, pistachios and walnuts. And oats also promote healthy blood flow to help your brain function better and be the regular. So we should eat them once a day at least. It helps us healthy. Good job. Okay. All right. Excellent.